Samus. So hot. Shit, shit! Metroid, one of the most underappreciated series by Nintendo, the series began on August 1986 and starred one of the first female protagonists in a video game, Samus Aran, a space bounty hunter set to destroy a dangerous alien species known as Metroids to keep from being used in the wrong hand. And if you played any game that uses the term Metroidvania to describe itself, yeah, this game started at all. The series would receive very scattered releases throughout its ongoing lifespan, sometimes even skipping some of Nintendo's consoles. The most recent releases of the series were quite controversial amongst fans, one of these games being Metroid Other M for the Wii. Upon release, the game received very favorable reviews, but is very hated among fans, especially with coming after the loved Metroid Prime series of games that adopted more first-person shooter gameplay instead of side-scrolling puzzle adventure that the series is used to. And frankly, I haven't played any of them. And since I don't hold any love towards any of these things, except Samus, I think it's time to give Metroid Other M a fair analysis, not based on what I want, but how it is as a game. So let's dust off the old Wii U and play some Metroid Other M. <laughs> God dang, when's the last time I played this thing? The game's opening cinematic starts with a horrible CG hentai monster and detail to events leading up to the main story of the game. Unfortunately, it suffers from the severe case of, Dear Lord, I don't know what the heck is going on. After waking up from that freaky hentai wet dreams, Samus receives a distress signal from a nearby ship and quickly makes her way to the vessel. Upon arrival, Samus meets up with her old teammates from the Galactic Federation. Samus agrees to cooperate with her former colleagues to investigate the ship that is now overrun with aliens and to find who was responsible for the illegal bioweapon experiments that were taking place on the facility. And at this point you might think, wow this is a lot of story for a Nintendo game. <laughs> Metroid Other M plays like a 2D Metroid game, but in a 3D environment. You have the typical Metroid moves, press 1 to charge and shoot, 2 to jump and wall jump, and a tap of A to turn into the Morph Ball. It's your typical Metroid outing with the addition of time button and melee attacks that feels satisfying to pull off if you time it correctly. I personally like how this feels, but of course, since it's on the Wii, there are MOTION, motion CONTROLS! NO! Yeah, the motion controls just feel very unnecessary. You point the Wiimote at the TV to be taken to a first-person mode where you can shoot missiles and find hidden doodads to solve puzzles and access new areas. I guess this sort of justifies the game being 3D instead of 2D, but why have the game mainly take a third-person's perspective when the environments are clearly designed for searching around in them? And there are parts where the game locks you into this perspective until you find what the game wants you to look at. It's never obvious what you're supposed to be looking for, so you're constantly waving the Wiimote at the TV until the radical changes shape. Oh my god, what am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, I think I found it. That pile of green blood that perfectly blends in with the grass. I may be hating on the motion controls, but I do think they are good to some extent. In combat, you need to hold the Wiimote upright to charge your missiles and heal while remaining completely still. This gives a sense of helplessness as your hands are away from the main controls and unarmed, which forces you to prioritize better when getting into battles. Unfortunately, it seems the game was more focused on the storytelling part rather than the actual gameplay, which, by the way... Yeah, the story sucks, I hate it! For a game that's supposed to be more focused on the story, it's just boring and doesn't really keep me motivated to continue playing. The game's cinematics just feel so full of atmosphere, and for the Wii, they look pretty damn good. But what holds it back is the bare-bones plot and characters. Metroid's co-creator, Yashio Sakamoto, was the main writer for Metroid Other M. He wanted Metroid Other M to give Samus more character, and he even directed the English translation for the game. And if you are wondering, no, he cannot speak English! In Japanese, in Japanese culture, a character who doesn't show emotion is often betrayed as a powerful figure. And because of this, Samus' voice actor often delivers her lines as emotionless as a robot. Which makes sense because the Japanese love fucking those things! Metroid Other M is not a great game. It's repetitive, gimmicky, but it's definitely not bad. In fact, far from it. The gameplay is actually rather nice. It feels good to control Samus and to pull off certain attacks feels pretty satisfying. It feels like you are always progressing with how fast Samus moves, but it definitely shows how the gameplay was designed to keep the player's attention by balancing it out with the story. As you progress, you learn more about what's taking place in the story of the game, but since the story is shit, the gameplay begins to feel repetitive and stale as well. 
well. Usually games that keeps its story as its front and center always keeps you on your toes and makes you wonder what's going to happen next. So it keeps the player invested and they'll keep playing the game. Metroid Other M has very small bits of that. I never felt like there was a driving moment in the plot because of how very little I knew of the characters or events taking place. I have no attachment to any of these characters despite them explaining their relationship to Samus and I'd even notice when one of them has died. You can tell me who they are all you want, but it's not going to make me like their personality. Anyone could just lazily read lines off of a script, but it's the motion that's put into reading off those lines is what distinguishes a unique character from the rest. Wolfenstein 2 is an example of this formula done right. Yes, these are two different genres of games, but they both balance out gameplay and story. I knew nothing about Wolfenstein when I went into this game. In the first few minutes, I became invested because of the story. Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. It made me want to play more and find out what's going to happen next while also having engaging gameplay. And do I think Metroid Other M is bad for not properly executing this? Yeah, a little bit, but there are a lot of things in games that need to go right in order for them to be good, and this definitely isn't the worst piece of trash out there. If you're a Metroid fan, I would recommend you at least try it out, but if you aren't, I wouldn't waste my time, especially for a game that was released for a console that nowadays criticized for being gimmicky and having a lot of shovelware. Well, that was Metroid Other M, but luckily Metroid has been coming back lately, so Metroid fans will have more games to play in the future. Also, I was kind of busy before you rudely interrupted me pleasuring myself, so if I could be so nice to ask, get the fuck out of my house!